without doing type training you cannot be a fully qualified as an aircraft maintenance engineer type training is a fundamental part of becoming a qualified aircraft maintenance engineer if you are already in the field but looking to get certified on a specific aircraft this video is for you we will cover everything what type training is who is eligible where and how to do it approved organization and whether you should go for self-sponsored training or airline or mr sponsorship so let's get started I haven't done type training on any aircraft myself but I have done extensive research on the subject and gathered relevant knowledge from those who have completed the type training. Let's begin by understanding what type training in aircraft maintenance engineering truly involves and why it is essential for becoming a qualified AME. In simple words, type training is a specialized training that allows a licensed aircraft engineer to work on a specific aircraft type or engines. For an example, Airbus A320 or Boeing 737. This training covers all the technical features of the aircraft, including its system, components, procedures, ensuring safety and efficiency when working on a particular type of the aircraft. Now, who meets the criteria of the type training? Generally, type training is available to individuals who have completed the basic aircraft maintenance engineering training. Eligibility typically requires holding a foundational maintenance license, such as an EASA Part 66 license, or having successfully completed all the module exams of associated category. When it comes to the type training for aircraft maintenance engineers, it's absolutely crucial that the training is done through approved maintenance training organizations. These organizations have to meet strict standards set by the aviation authorities like Part 147 approved or ESA 147 certified centers need to be recognized by the European countries and your license issuing authority. They are responsible for ensuring that the training is well structured, follows the right curriculum and provides everything needed for the trainees to succeed. Now let's break down the training process which happens in four key phases. 1. Theoretical education and the classroom training. This is where everything starts. In this phase, technicians dive deep into the theory of the aircraft they will be working on. They cover the areas like the aircraft systems, basically all the required ATA chapters, component locations, troubleshootings, techniques, engine theory, electrical and electronic fundamentals, safety, human factors. Duration of the theory classes depends on the category. Normally as an example of Airbus 320, for B1.1 it takes 20 to 25 days, for B1 and B2 combined it takes 30 to 35 days. Then you will have the final theory exam of multiple choice and short answer questions with passing mark of 75% which is standard under the ASA. It's all about the building the solid foundation of knowledge, understanding how the things work before getting their hands dirty. 2. Practical Training After the theory comes the hands-on part. Here trainees get chance to work on the real aircraft systems, performing inspection, servicing and component replacements. It's about applying the knowledge they gain in the classroom and using specialized tools to solve problems in a real world setting. Fault diagnosis is a big part of this phase as well. Number three is structured on the job training. This is a super important phase, especially for the first type training endorsement. During SOGD, trainees perform the maintenance task on the actual aircraft under the supervision of an experienced professional. Tasks like the component removal and installation, functional test, and the troubleshooting are carried out and it's all logged and signed off by a qualified supervisor. Duration of the SOGT depends on the training organization, the complexity of the tasks and the individual's progress. As an example of Airbus 320, it takes 10 to 20 working days. In the case of SOGT, it's important to verify that the training organization you are undertaking that meets all the necessary requirements and always ensure that have the proper facilities and equipment to carry out the required training tasks effectively. Additionally, it's good practice to check with your NAA or National Aviation Authority or the authority that issued your license as they are ones who will endorse your license to confirm whether they accept the training from that specific organization. This phase ensures that the technicians are ready to take the real world tasks with confidence. Number four, the skill test and the assessment. Finally, it's time to put everything to the test. Once the hands-on training is complete, the trainee's skills are truly evaluated. The training records are reviewed and the comprehensive assessment is done to ensure that they have mastered the required skills. Only after this assessment, they will be deemed competent to handle the tasks 
on their own in the field. Type training courses are offered by various organizations including the aircraft manufacturers like Airbus, Boeing or the approved training centers or the airlines and the maintenance, repair and the overall organizations. The validity of the type training is generally 5 years. If there is a break of 2 years in working with a specific aircraft, recurrent training may be required. Experience on the aircraft is typically required every three years to keep the type training valid. One of the big questions people ask is whether to go for the self type training or to seek sponsorship from an airline or MRO. Both have their pros and cons. Self type training. This option allows you to choose your preferred provider and schedule, but it can be expensive. You also need to ensure that the training provider is authorized. In case of sponsorship from an airline or MRO, often means that they will cover your training expenses. In return, you will be expected to work for them after completing the training. This can be a great option. However, you might have to commit to working with that organization for a specific period of time. Which aircraft types are the most popular for the type training? Now, I will suggest to go for Airbus A320 or Boeing 737. Airbus 320 family widely used globally and the A320 family offers the fly-by-wire tech and commonality across the models making it a top choice for the training. The Boeing 77 Angel Manx is a popular for its reliability and efficiency with commonality across its models making it essential for the technicians. Now some questions like is type training required for all the aircraft maintenance engineers? Type training is not required for all the AMEs but it is necessary for those working with specific aircraft types. If you are working on a general or less complex aircraft, basic AME training may be sufficient. However, for the complex, modern or specialized training, type training is mandatory. Now how often does the type training need to be updated? Type training needs to be updated whenever there are significant changes to the aircraft or its systems. Recurring training are required periodically to keep the engineers and technicians up to date with the latest safety regulations, modifications and maintenance procedures. Can you specialize in more than one aircraft type? Yes, you can specialize in multiple aircraft types, but it requires completing separate type training courses for each. Many engineers and the technicians take training for multiple aircraft types to enhance their career flexibility. So there you have it. Type training is an essential part of becoming a fully certified aircraft maintenance engineer. Whether you choose self-sponsored training or seek airline or MR sponsorship, the process involves the structured learning, practical experience, and hands-on training to ensure that you are qualified to work on a specific aircraft with popular aircraft like the Airbus G20 and the Boeing 77 leading the way. The type training opens the doors to a rewarding career in the aviation industry. Whether you are just starting out or looking to expand your expertise, type training is the key to advancing your skills and becoming a top tier AME. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on the aircraft maintenance.